Subscribers, fans, Big Daddy Pump here. So what we's about to do is we's about to play this new content for Resident Evil 2. This is called Ghost Survivors. So what we're going to do is we're going to play as this whammon. And this whammon, Catherine Warren, I believe. Yeah, she's um, been captured by like the police chief or something in Raccoon City after the town has went to hell because of zombies and shit. So see, this guy tried to uh, capture her and stuff. She stabbed him in the neck. And now she doesn't really know what to do. She just, uh, no, she has to get the hell out of here, I think. So what we're gonna do, yeah, there's that fat boy, see that? Because this is a B scenario. In the actual Resident Evil game, uh, that I just played recently, and I might play scenario B with Leon now. Uh, what happened was, is that this girl actually got captured. So you'd come into this room, right, when you were Claire, and you'd see this chick all spread out on this table here. Yeah, this guy was doing weird shit, like he uh, drugged her up or something, and I don't know, I, I believe she was an experiment. But nonetheless, maybe I'll put on my headphones so I can hear what's going on here. Uh, I haven't gotten very far here. Uh, I don't have infinite ammo either. But yeah, it escapes. Holy shit, I split it. <laughs> Damn, that was a lucky shot. That doesn't always happen. These guys... These guys are a bitch. Yeah, these ones here. Ooh. Yeah, they're powerful, man. There's something with them. Where it takes, like... 10 shots to take him out. Now this guy has a backpack. Now I'll tell you a little bit about this uh, B scenario. For one, there's these uh, dispenser things right here. Check this out. And you can only take one thing out of here. Damn, I wish I had a gun that could take those. I believe those are for the Magnum or something. But I'm gonna take the ammo. So here's the thing is, uh, see I could have taken one grenade, but I guess it doesn't make much sense to me. Why would I take one grenade over 30 shots? But then again, let me show you what we're about to do here. We're going to go outside this door. Oh, shh. Yeah, this daddy's doing pretty good here. And we, we's going to be going outside this door. And what we's going to do is we're going to try to take out these little wolves. <laughs> oh, hell no. Did I kill one? I killed one. I had no idea I could kill him. With a handgun. Really? Oh, shit. This is where it gets problematic. Okay, we're gonna get the stuff out of the bag. Damn, I'm really surprised, actually, that I was able to take these wolves out. Come on. Come on, you don't, you don't gotta get hit. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I'm avoiding them. Uh, it didn't go so well last time. But yeah, so that's a nice tutorial right there. That's how you do it. Another weapon finally escapes this orphanage. And there's all sorts of hell to pay. Yeah, so you can check the map and you know where things are, just like in the real game. In fact, I'm not sure which way to choose here. Last time I went to the basketball court. I think I'm going to skip that part, actually. So see this, you can get some fuel for your uh, uh, for your flamethrower here uh, oh damn can I combine it yeah I get 200 all right that's pretty good so it's not very effective though is the thing maybe toward oh gosh oh shit one of those uh, zombies has a backpack so I kind of want it but yeah, I mean, it's not very effective. See? See, it's not very effective. Okay, there was like a backpack somewhere in here. Let's take a look where that went. To the left. Where's the backpack? I don't see the backpack anymore. Oh, this guy has it. Okay, so... Yeah, the, the flamethrower just doesn't seem to be all that effective. Look at this. Like, I thought it'd just fry the shit out of them. But it really isn't that effective. Okay, there's the backpack. Let's see if I can get it. 
more fuel for this gun. Load her up. All right, we're going to make our way to the bus. Now, this is almost the farthest I've been, you see, because I've only played this tutorial, like, twice. These guys are such a bitch. Yeah, they're not like the regular zombies. Look at this. I fried this shit out of him. It barely does anything. Can she get by him now? Okay, they might be dead. Mmm, take a hit, though. Damn. Yeah, I did take a hit. And it looks like there's another dispensary right over here. I'll try to get to that thing maybe without... Okay, so yeah, the thing with Resident Evil games is uh, it's important to be resourceful, obviously. Uh, and that includes with your ammo. So you often want to avoid enemies if you can. You kind of run around them if you can. I think I'm going to skip that basketball court. Because look at that, there's a liquor in there, there's a backpack. Shit, if I can even skip it. Maybe I can't skip it. I assume I could go around. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. We're going to try to kill that liquor. The liquors are one of the more difficult monsters in this game. Come on. Oh shit, and there are two of them in here. This game, man. Oh shit. Oh shit. I should have taken the herb. Shit! Okay, better luck next time, Ice Daddy. <clears throat> A gruesome death, man. Man, it is fucked dead right there. So I think if we restart, it's just going to take us way back. But there's your tutorial, man. <laughs> I don't know how long this uh, little side game is. I don't think it's very long at all, actually. So, I'll probably make another video on this. We'll see how it goes. But, damn. Okay, I think when I retry, I just have to restart. So, nonetheless, I'll start recording when I get to that uh, place next time. And we'll see how it goes. You know, I want to see more of this game. So, like this damn video. Subscribe to the page. And peace be with you, bruh.